Good afternoon. At this time, would all senior class chorus members please come up to the front and stand by the microphone. Pledge of Allegiance, our national anthem, and our school's alma mater. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to Skinny Ellis High School's 72nd Commencement Ceremony. Before we begin our program, I would like to introduce you to the Board of Education members, administrators, my fellow seniors, as well as our class marshals beginning with Mr. Ethan Pickup, our salutatorian. <laughs> Ethan will be attending University of Pennsylvania in the fall. Mr. Gregory J. Santoro, our high school principal. Mr. Thomas Lambden, president of the Board of Education. Danielle Fleckenstein, Vice President of the Board of Education. Ms. Carrie Brogan. Ms. Amanda Nugent. Ms. Tanya Coleman. 
Miss Lily Winkleman, our Val the Victorian. <laughs> Lily will be attending Williams College in the fall. And Mr. Eric Knuth, Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Seated to the left of our class members are our class marshals. Mr. Brian C.V., math teacher, Ms. Isha McConaughey, English teacher, and Mr. Robert Pickup, social studies teacher. Seated to the lake side of our class members are Assistant Principal Michael Major, and our class marshals, Mr. Daniel Farrar, English teacher, Ms. Julie Spinelli, social studies teacher, and Mr. Marcus Guy, social studies teacher. And I am Marcus McClanahan, honorary speaker for the class of 2022. I will be attending University of Miami in the fall. I would also like to point out that across from the Sherwood Inn, SAVES is available in case anyone needs their services. Marcus, this is where you make your speech. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, first off, I want to thank everyone for coming out today and showing up for our graduates. It means a lot. I would also like to thank the faculty and staff that have worked so hard to get us here where we are today. And of course, it's not a real speech if I don't thank my mom and dad. So thank you, mom and dad. This is the first normal commencement ceremony we've had in three years. One where we don't have to worry about the C word, as Mr. Santoro likes to call it. It's so bad he doesn't even want to say it. Personally, I can think of a C word that would be a little bit worse to say right now, but we don't need to talk about it. Now, going into senior year and deciding what classes I should take, naturally I asked some kids from the grade above me to see what I should take. And despite some pretty poor reviews, I decided to take AP Composition and Literature. I don't know what they were talking about because this was my favorite class of the year. And in that class, for a while, we studied fate and destiny. One of my best friends, Cooper Morsey, I'm sure many of you know him as he's here with us today graduating. Congratulations, Cooper. Uh, but anyways, for a long time, Cooper's lock screen on his phone had a quote that read, be the captain of your own destiny. Now, I always thought this was some cringy alpha male mindset mentality that I wanted no part of. But it wasn't until this year that I really started to grasp the concept of destiny and what it meant to me and what it could mean to many of you graduates. So yes, for the next few minutes, you'll be listening to what destiny means to a financially dependent 18-year-old. This year, we have been faced with many choices that could seriously alter our destiny. Choices like waking up in the morning or in the afternoon for some of you and choosing to go to school. Senioritis is a very real thing. And then there's the choice of what classes to take to get the best chance of getting into a good college. And then the biggest choice of them all, what to do and where to go after we graduate. No matter the choices you made this year, I have confidence that everyone graduating here today has it written in their destiny to succeed. And here's why. It is a common belief in many cultures that our destiny is predetermined. Regardless of if you believe this to be true, there are simply some things that are out of our control. For example, going to school at Skinny Atlas. I don't think it was any of our choice, us students that is, to live and go to school in Skinny Atlas. Besides maybe Luke Renaud because he was recruited. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He just happened to get a brand new Xbox as soon as he moved here. <laughs> but with that said, I believe going to Skinny Atlas is the greatest predeterminant of your destiny. Skinny Atlas, the school and the community, is a place that oozes opportunity and growth. This year, we had a 100% graduation rate won nine sectional titles, and the Senate students are some of the best colleges in the population. To show that all you graduates have seized the opportunity that Skinny Atlas has given to you, go ahead and feel the cap that's on your head. There are things that we have experienced, for better or worse, that just can't be replicated anywhere else. No one besides us knows how to make Mr. Santoro's Nana's sauce. 
No one else knows the pain of Ted Kush's punch as he said, Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> and I'm sorry, Mr. CV, but there's very few people who can say they've had Mr. Clean as a math teacher. <laughs> we learned that those bathrooms that are meant for about eight people can actually fit closer to 60 people in one giant speaker. And we even held our own wedding. Many people say Skinny Atlas is like a bubble. We have everything we need right in this little town of ours. We have community, we have trust, safety, and we have the best fish fry in the whole world. Shout out dogs. Yeah. But for all of us, whether you're staying close to home or traveling over a thousand miles for next year like myself, our bubble is going to pop. Lucky for us, going to school at Skinny Atlas, be it two years or your whole life, we have been blessed with all the knowledge we need to thrive in this new world of ours. The first part of our lives is over, but as a whole, it's only just begun. What has happened has happened. The rest is now in our control. Bestowed upon each and every one of you is the responsibility to become the best and happiest version of yourself you can. If we live that to be true, then the class of 2022 will go down not only as the best looking class in our school's history, but also the most impactful. Some may call it nonsense. Others will call it far-fetched. I call it destiny. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Ethan Pickup, salutatorian for the class of 2022. Hello. <clears throat> I am Ethan Pickup. A few months ago, when I asked some of my fellow graduates what they would like to hear from my speech, they all gave me the same simple answer. Keep it short. Personally, I think this was great advice. As a class, we have put in so much time and effort to reach this moment, there is no need for me to unnecessarily prolong it. As anyone in the audience who has shared a class period with me in high school can verify, I did my fair share of talking during the school day. Not to worry, I have no intention of following this precedent now. There are, however, a few things I want to use this time to say. Firstly, I want to say thank you to all the teachers, administrators, coaches, mentors, family, friends, and especially my fellow students, thank you. Thank you for making these past years so memorable. It's very easy to overlook how lucky all of us are. Yes, we have all had struggles and setbacks, and surely some people's have been far more severe than others. But look around, we've made it. With the help of the wonderful community surrounding us and the exceptional school system behind us, we are here. We are at graduation. On the shores of our beautiful lake, we are all celebrating this event together. In the words of the 1978 hit pop song, Copacabana, they were young and they had each other. Who could ask for more? Graduation is a perplexing experience. The best way I can think to explain it is I've been eagerly dreading this moment for a long time. That oxymoronic phrase, while seemingly irrational, feels like an accurate description. It seems that we have all worked so hard for so many years to reach this moment, and yet now that it's here, we don't necessarily know what to do about it. Of course, maybe there are some of you out there who are perfectly ready to leave your high school experience behind and set out for something new. Whether you have come to terms with your graduation or you are still overwhelmed by this upcoming change, I think we can all benefit from the same suggestion. Make, this, make the most of this summer. The fact of the matter is, in under an hour, we will be jumping in to that lake. Our high school careers will officially be over. All we can do now is soak up every last second we have together. Spend these next weeks with the family and friends who have been with you throughout your high school career. It is truly a time of celebration. Go out there, have fun, be safe, be smart, and never forget your time in Skinny Atlas. Spend this summer commemorating these past years and resting up for whatever wonderful things you have planned in the future. Good luck, 
I wish you all the best. It is now my honor to introduce to you all the class of 2022 Skinny Atlas Valedictorian, Lily Winkleman. Thank you and hello everyone. I'm going to begin this in a way that will not surprise anyone who knows me, and that is with a quote from my favorite show, The Great British Bake Off. In season four, Christine, a contestant, remarked about her breadsticks, they went into the oven much more even than they came out. And the response was, in the wise words of Paul Hollywood, welcome to yeast. We may have gone into the oven of Skinny Atlas High School a little different than when we came out, but that doesn't mean anything bad. After all, I think we can all agree a nicely baked breadstick is better than a raw one, no matter how it looks. Such is the baking process. We start out with some simple ingredients, and as we mix, shape, and bake them to perfection, they become something pretty delicious. I think it's pretty cool to think about ourselves on September 5th, 2018, our first day of high school, and then think about ourselves now at our last school event ever, keeping in mind everything we've done since then that our freshman selves would be surprised about. We never expected that we would try that new sport or make friends with that new person or even completely change our career aspirations, which may or may not have happened to me. But I think I can speak for all of us when I say that we grew in some way from these experiences, learned some things, and made some memories that we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. I did try to find a way to connect this to a nicer metaphor than breadsticks, and I landed on a tree. So we're going to think about ourselves as, in the words of Bob Ross, happy little trees, as we go into the future, because we can stay true to our trunk of personality and values, while also branching out to explore things that might make us uncomfortable. But even if we don't enjoy them, our branches will have grown a bit to get there, and we will have gotten taller and stronger along the way. I can't go any further without mentioning the many people who have helped us grow over the years, because we all know a tree can't grow well without a nurturing environment filled with plenty of water and sunshine. All of our parents, teachers, staff, administrators, and many others have given their 110% throughout our years at Skinny Atlas to make sure we've had as sunny an environment as possible, even though we do live in central New York, to thrive and grow. And for that, I'd like to give them a huge thank you on behalf of all of us. Aside from just us as individuals, we can think of ourselves as a class as one big tree. Because whether you've been here since kindergarten or you've only been here for a year, we are all connected at our roots by our experiences at Skinny Atlas. After today, we're all going in different directions. We'll have a variety of different length branches on our tree, as some of us are staying pretty close to home, and others will be going as far as Colorado, Florida, and even Ireland. No matter how different we become, we've had experiences together that no one else has gotten to have, and I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to leave this with a quote from one of my favorite people, Queen Elizabeth II, who said, I believe that, young or old, we have as much to look forward to with confidence and hope as we have to look back on with pride. We should all be immensely proud of ourselves for all the work we put in to be here today. So congratulations, everyone, and thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our principal, Mr. Santoro. Thank you, Marcus, Ethan, and Lily. I, too, would like to welcome everyone to our 72nd commencement exercises. Today, I have the honor of presenting the traditional senior awards. The class of 2022 has clearly demonstrated outstanding achievement through the years in high school. We are very proud of your accomplishments and are pleased to recognize individual excellence. We will begin with our National Merit Scholarship. In the fall of the junior year, students take the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. Over 1.3 million students took the 2020 test. From the 50,000 high scorers nationwide, about 16,000 will be named National Merit Scholarship Program semifinalists, representing the top scores in each state, and the other 34,000 students who will be commended for the performance on the PSAT 
NMSQT. I am pleased to announce we have three students receiving such recognition as National Merit Commended Students. Please stand. Owen Gay. Eleanor McSwain. And Jillian Scott. In early September, some high scorers were notified that they had qualified as semi-finalists. To be considered for a National Merit Scholarship, semi-finalists must advance to finalist standing in the competition by meeting high academic standards. In February, some 15,000 semi-finalists were notified they had advanced to the finalist standing. We are delighted to announce that Lily Winkleman is among the group of distinguished high school seniors. And now I will present the scholarship awards. I will announce the name of the award followed by the name of the recipient. When you hear your name called, please stand to be recognized. The full description of each award will be listed on our school website next week and will be mailed home. The Clarence M. Austin Scholarship, Nolan Grislow. The Rotary Scholarship, Eleanor McSwain. The Skinny Atlas Garden Club Scholarship, Lily Winkleman. The Skinny Atlas Nursery School Scholarship, Gerald Colin Morrissey. The Skinny Atlas George E. Davis Memorial Scholarship Award, Atticus Savage. Skinny Atlas PTC Scholarship, Jack Patterson. The High School PTC Scholarship, Carolee Pittman. The Skinny Atlas Teachers Association Scholarship, Brady Guy. The Crystal Smith Scholarship, Faith. Wagner. Gail Francis Pittman Yao Scholarship. We have three students. Please rise. Aiden McGowan, Curran McGowan, and Brendan McGowan. The Sam Sorello Memorial Scholarship, Impact Scholarship, Grace Conan. Heaney Scholarship, Lily Winkleman. The Henry Bryant Scholarship, Jack Patterson. The Howard L. Zellinger Scholarship, Lillian Yango. The Ida Gleason Memorial Scholarship, Kelsey Rutledge. The Leslie K. Feldman Memorial Scholarship. We have two recipients, Faith Wagner and Coral Bales. The Lions Club Board of Cooperative Educational Services Award. We have two recipients, Mackenzie Kite Kendall and Evan Longworth. Skinny Atlas Lions Club We Serve Scholarship, Fiona Foley. The Lions Club Nursing Award, Hannah Spaulding. The Lions Club Special Effort and Service Award, Josh Bean. The Minion Boyd Allen Scholarship, Victoria Baker. The Richard C. Hutchins Jr. Memorial Scholarship, Bridget Carroll. The Robert J. Checo Memorial Scholarship, Emil Sander. The Skinny Atlas Boys Hockey Booster Club Scholarship,
Curran McGowan. The American Legion Eric E. Steen Scholarship, Maeve McNeil. Fireman's Ladies Auxiliary Senior Award. We have two recipients, Jack Buff and Carly Pittman. The Skinny Atlas Girls Varsity Hockey Scholarship. We have two recipients, Rebecca Kane and Rachel Kane. Boys Soccer Booster Scholarship, Nicholas Ceramelli. Track and Cross Country Boosters. We have two recipients, Grace Conan and William Drizadis. The Skinny Atlas Grange George M. Telcott Prize, Aiden Wood. The Sonia Finch Allen Scholarship, Marilisa Kroon. St. Mary's of the Lake Language Award, Ethan Pickup. The Stephen Masters and Elaine Withy Memorial Award, Anna McGlynn. Hillrom Scholarship Fund, Jack Weeks. The Kringer Family Scholarship for Theater Arts, Marilisa Kroon. The Kringer Family Scholarship for Music Education, Jack Patterson. The Skinny Atlas Central School Endowment, Kellogg Mapstone Allen Foundation Scholarships. The Skinny Atlas Central School Endowment Foundation is pleased to announce that through the help of an anonymous benefactor, endowment scholarships will be awarded to this year's seniors. The award is based upon character, scholarship record, and industry and community service. The Borche Fund was set up to benefit the Fayetteville Manlius School District and the Skinny Atlas Central Schools. Mr. and Mrs. Borche were longtime summer residents in the Skinny Atlas area. This year's Endowment Foundation recipients are, and please rise, August Arroyo, Ashton Bennett, Rory Comer, Margaret Cowden, William Grzadis, Michael Klausowski, Marcus McClanahan, Anna McGlynn, Maeve McNeil, Martin McNeil, Eleanor McSwain, Tyler Moss, Emilio, Emilia Musso, Ethan Pickup, Elizabeth Raymond, Jillian Scott, Sophia Soderberg, Hannah Spaulding, Fatima Wakis, and Lily Winkleman. The Walter and Cecile Borche Scholarship recipients, and please stand. Coral Bales, Jacob Coleman, and Seamus Fogarty. Congratulations to all our recipients. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Eric Knuth, who will officially present the Class of 2022. Thank you, Mr. Santoro. What an absolutely beautiful day we have for commencement today. Welcome to our 72nd annual commencement at Skinny Atlas Central Schools. Uh, each year, this is my favorite day of the year as it represents the culmination of a 13-year journey. 
To the class of 2022, while today marks the end of that journey, I choose instead to think of today as the first day of the, your next adventure. To our senior class, in a moment, you will hear your names read aloud, proclaiming you graduates of Skinny Atlas High School. Please stop for a moment and consider what that means. Being a graduate of Skinny Atlas Schools means more than just academic achievement. The Laker Way is about more than awards and honors. It means more than college and career opportunities. Most importantly, it was about effort, care, commitment, and dedication. Throughout your entire Skinny Atlas experience, it made you not only great students, but sit here before us today as great young people. We are so especially proud of this senior class, the class of 2022, not only for all they have achieved, but for the strength of character it took to persevere during such a difficult and uncertain time. While commencement is a time for celebration, it is also a time for reflection and gratitude. To our senior class, please take a moment to think about all the people who contributed to your success, who assisted you along the way who loved you, who cared for you, who convinced you that you could achieve anything you were willing to work for. As you depart and go off into the world, remember all of those people in our community, your family, your teachers, anyone who helped you get here today, and seek them out to share your appreciation. I cannot tell you what this will mean to them. As you go off into the world, keep those people in your hearts. Remember the impact these relationships and connections had in your life. And I challenge each of you to measure your future success by becoming that person in the life of another. To the class of 2022, we are so proud for all you have accomplished and all you have become during your time at Skinny Atlas Schools. It has been our pleasure to watch you learn, to grow, and to succeed. Always know that you are capable of everything that you are willing to work for and you leave our halls with a foundation upon which you can build anything. On behalf of the faculty, staff, administration, and Board of Education, we wish you every happiness that life has to offer. Today isn't the end of anything, it's the beginning of everything. Go out there and make us proud, Lakers. And at this time, the moment you have all been waiting for, it is my pleasure to announce the names of the class of 2022. We will begin this year with our valedictorian, also Seal of Bi Biliteracy recipient, Miss Lily Carolyn Winkleman. This year's salutatorian and also Seal of Biliteracy recipient, Mr. Ethan Matthew Pickup. The 2022 class speaker, Mr. Marcus Aubrey McClanahan. And now for the reading of names for the rest of our class of 2022. Wesley Alisea. <laughs> Catherine Mignon Allen. <laughs> Leah Amidon. <laughs> August Arroyo. Grace Taylor Bailey. Victoria C. Baker. Coral Diane Bales. Hannah Marie Barkley. Zoe Elizabeth Barkley. Joshua Bean. Sean R. Bellinger. Ashton Robert Bennett.
Margaret Jane Brown. Joseph Robert Bruna. Jack Vincent Buff. Rachel Rose Kane. Rebecca Hannah Kane. Bridget Audrey Carroll. Nicholas Thomas Ceramelli. Owen Tyrell Cheney. Jacob James Coleman. Rory M. Comer. Grace Elizabeth Conan. Margaret Panora Cowden. Kate Elizabeth Coyne. Ella Louise Danforth. Nathan DeVoe. Lauren Noel Dodds. Matthew Gregory Domino. Aiden Napoleon Donovan. Benjamin Christopher Fedor. Seamus Arthur Fogarty. Fiona Kellerman Foley. Colin Michael Gaglione. Lacey Elizabeth Gatiss. Tori Garrett. Owen Gay. Nathan Gerst. William Patrick Gerzadis. Drew Mondo Gaithy. Haiti Eileen Gonzalez Martinez. Chase Allen Goodchild. Nolan Westcott Grislow. Neil Hatcher Gutchess. Brady Guy. Devin M. Hopp. Ben Johnson.
Jack Woods Jones. Maximus E. Keller. Lillian Ashlyn Kiltz. Charlotte Beverly Hitchcock King. Michael John Klozowski. Garrett Carl Krieger. Marlisa A.T. Kroon. Mackenzie Kuykendall. Ava Corinne Logan. Paris Lee Londano. Evan Longworth. Sean M. Luce. Reese Claire McConaughey. Anna Catherine McGlynn. Aiden Michael McGowan. Brendan Michael McGowan. Curran Michael McGowan. Maeve Ryan McNeil. Martin Moran McNeil. <laughs> Eleanor Claire McSwain. <laughs> Emily Alexion McTrennan. <laughs> Harrison John Mercado. Trey Andrew Michael. Alexander Thomas Morrow. Cooper F. Morrissey. Gerald Colin Morrissey. Tyler Morgan Moss. <laughs> Amelia Musso. James Matthew Musso. Cody Vance Nesbitt. Laura Faye Norris. Braden Allen Parker. Jude Stephen Pascal. Jack Patterson.
Trenton C. Pearson. Grace Marie Peterson. Carly Marie Pittman. Cooper Robert Purdy. Elizabeth M. B. Raymond. Luke Charles Frederick Renault. Kelsey Lynn Rutledge. Brendan Ryan. Tanner Patrick Ryan. Emil Paul Sander. Atticus James Savage. Jillian Grace Scott. <laughs> Sophia Rose Soderberg. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Spaulding. <laughs> Colin Thomas Sweet. Holly Marie Teasdale Edwards. Elizabeth Michelle Teresi. Joseph Francis McRae Turcotte. Xander J. Van Fleet. Faith Bethany Wagner. Fatima Wakas. Jack North Weeks. Grace Marie Wilder. Aiden Wood. Lillian May Yengo. Natalie Morgan Yoakum. And last but certainly not, not least, Eric Zellinger. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022.
time, Mr. Dirk Santoro, high school principal. Okay, class of 2022. I just want to take this all in for a minute here. Class of 2022, it's the time. Put your hand on the cap. Move those tassels from the right to the left. And now I declare you Laker Way Skinny Ellis High School official graduates. Congratulations. Congratulations.